Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I thought I'd give you guys a recent reads video. I have about six books here to talk about today that I read recently. First up here I have Birthday by Meredith Russo. This is a young adult contemporary. I bought it a really long time ago. I, the, and the edges are beautiful. Basically this is about Eric and Morgan. They were both born the same day, the same place, the same time. So they've been friends for their whole lives. This kind of follows one of them as they start to think that maybe they're a girl instead of a boy and how to tell their friend that and how to express that. This book does have some trigger warnings for transphobia, bullying, self-harm, as well as suicide and abuse. So this book does talk about a lot of difficult topics, um, but I really liked the romance that kind of sprouted and just I liked that we followed both main characters every single year on their birthday. We went back and forth between perspectives for like their 18th birthday or their this birthday and we kind of got to see every year like let's change their point of views. Um, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I gave it around a three star review. I grew really attached to the characters by the end of this so I was totally just rooting for them, wanting the best for them. So overall I thought this was a really good read. I have read If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo and I loved that when I read it years and years ago when it came out. So I, I'm glad I finally got a chance to pick this one up. Next up here I read Her Body and Other Parties. This I heard about a long time ago. I kind of just associated it or thought it was like a horror short story collection. Was feminism related is what I was kind of thinking for it. This one had a series of different topics handled in it as well, including eating disorders and domestic violence and sexual assault. So keep that in mind before picking this up. Basically, I can give you a breakdown of each of the stories and like my rating I guess for each one. I think all of them averaged out to about a three star review. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed by it. I thought I would like it a bit more. Uh, it's okay. I do like that kind of style of writing though, that gothic and then there was that bit of like feminism in there as well. And this one does also have a lot of like female female relationships in it. So if you're interested in reading more books with that, this one had it for sure. Husband Stitch was one of them. It was more of a side story, folktale, town. There was a ribbon significance to that. I thought this one was okay. I gave it three stars. It's what we started the collection off with. Inventory was the second one. I didn't know how to feel about it because it was just like all of our sexual experiences and there was also a virus going around. Uh, I didn't I didn't even rate this one. Uh, there was also one called Mothers that I also gave three stars. Uh, especially Heinous, I gave two stars. Real Women Have Bodies, I gave one star. Eight Bites was my favorite. Um, it was really interesting. This is the one that had eating disorder triggers, but this one was like people can get an irreversible surgery to make themselves stay skinny and that they can only eat eight bites of food after that surgery and they'll be full. So I thought that was a really interesting concept. Very interesting take on like women's bodies, um, eating disorders, things like that. Best one in the collection, four stars. Lastly, The Resident had different, had like kind of cult vibes and it was at a resort called Devil's Throat. Um, I give them one 2.5 stars. But overall, I gave Her Body and Other Party around a three star rating. Again, that one short story was my favorite. But other than that, I didn't really enjoy this one too much. I do have an edition from The Strand and it's signed, which makes me happy. I know I really wanted this one. And I love when I find books that I bought from The Strand on my shelf and they have the, I, I, don't, I don't care if it has the price sticker on it. That tells me that where I bought it, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. If it's The Strand, it's fine. Next up here, we have The Exorcist by William Peter Blady. This one I did a full review on, so I'll definitely link that uh, below and on the screen as well if you're interested to hear my full thoughts. Essentially, this was about a woman named Chris McNeil who's an actress. Uh, her daughter, Reagan, begins to go through a lot of changes, both she gets very ill and then a lot of behavioral changes and a lot of things happen. So we follow Chris as she tries everything she can to help her daughter with what she's going through. And there's an exorcism that happens, obviously. It's great. Honestly, best book I've read all year, I think. My favorite. Uh, I highly recommend checking out the review if you're interested, but I really enjoyed this one. I'm really glad I read it. Uh, it was fascinating and it was like no other horror book that I've read before. Next up here, I have Legion by William Peter Blady. So this is technically the sequel to The Exorcist. That's why I read it. I enjoyed The Exorcist so much. I was like, I will pick this up. I was not the biggest fan of this one. The Exorcist, I like was so into it. I read that thing in a day. It was phenomenal. This took me a few days to read and I was just dragging my feet. This follows Lieutenant Kinderman who is one of the cops in The Exorcist and it follows him and kind of some crimes that are occurring. It's more of a crime thriller than anything I would say. Uh, it's very, apparently this inspired The Exorcist 3 movie which I'm interested in seeing. If you're looking for something like what happens to Reagan later or if you want to meet 
like say hi to more of the characters from the first book, you're not really gonna get that. <laughs> not really gonna get that. I was a little bit disappointed by that. Uh, so it does, I definitely think it could stand alone or it could stand as like, a, I think it could stand even as a spinoff. Um, just something where it's another character from the previous story, but not an exorcism. This one did have a lot of the same themes as the first book though, good versus evil, heaven versus hell, if God exists, where you go after you die, all those questions were also discussed in this book. I did also quite like the writing of it, uh, so I definitely think I'll pick up, pick up, I think I'll watch the movie that this is based on. Uh, but there's only in the stuff, uh, he's written other stuff, so I'm interested about that too. But for this one, this series, it's The Exorcist and then Legion, so. Overall, I gave this one three stars. It definitely wasn't a bad read, uh, just not my favorite, and The Exorcist, read that, read that. Here we have Elevation by Stephen King. This is one that I hope to make like a full review on, so look out for that in the future. This one is essentially just like a short story novella type of thing, um, but this follows Scott as he's going through like a very confusing time. He's losing, he's losing weight, but he physically stays the same. And even if he puts like, even if he puts weights in his pockets or holds weights and goes on the scale, it's always the same, like it's always going down, no matter what he holds. So that's what this kind of follows. Very interesting, not at all what I expected. I really liked it. Also, there was a band in this called Pennywise and the Clowns. I love when I see little references like that, it makes me happy. But yeah, this is definitely not what I thought it'd be. I love the cat, Bill, the cat that was in this. This was great. I actually really liked it. I gave it four stars. Last but not least, we have The Alley by Junjo Ito. So if you don't know, he is a Japanese horror writer who writes like very grotesque, weird stories. Um, some of them are inspired by like folktale and stuff like that. This one was good. I, I really enjoyed this one. There hasn't been a, a book of his I haven't enjoyed. Um, one of the short stories, this is a collection of short stories. So one of them was like, there's an alley, but it's blocked off from all angles. But if you look into the alley, you see things. That was one of them. There's gonna be weird stuff like flying bodies, like tentacle looking things coming out of people's mouths. My favorite story was The Ward. This is kind of what his art style looks like. Super creepy, but super cool. I don't know, I've never seen manga like this from anybody else. There's also like one where everyone was smoking and then smoke comes out of their eyes, their mouths, their nose. Their, the eyes is the concerning part. Overall though, I ended up giving this book four stars. I really enjoyed it and I'm super excited to read more Jinjo Ito in the future. There you guys have it, that was my recent reads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, in the description, I'm gonna have the books that I talked about as well as a link for any trigger warnings for each book if you are interested in looking into those before picking them up. I will see you guys very soon with a new video. If you've read any of these books, let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below and I hope to talk to you soon.